Brian Kelly, Notre Dame head coach, kind enough to join us once again on the show. And uh, Brian, it's a huge game this weekend down there in Athens against Georgia. A few years ago when you played at your place, uh, Georgia doesn't play in that part of the world, so they had a massive influx of fans. Now, your fan base is global, but from what I can gather from ticket sales, man, this is a huge, huge ticket down there. How, how big an appetite do you get uh, an idea your fan base has for this trip down there to Athens? Well, I think they'd like to go down there, but I think Georgia's done a pretty good job of making sure that uh, <laughs> nobody with green or blue is going to be in the stands, but that's fine. I mean, I, I think that's what a home field advantage is about, and I think Georgia's done a really good job of holding on to their tickets, and rightfully so. So it should be a great atmosphere. Our guys are used to playing on the road, and uh, again, we've, uh, you know, we've got ways to make sure that they've seen a lot of red this week, so we're prepared for it. Yeah, and your folks have ways of infiltrating the stadium one way or another. I'm sure that you, your fan base will be represented. When, when you prepare for this Georgia team and you look at the tape, what jumps off and is the, is the primary concern? Well, the quarterback is extremely efficient. I think you start with him. Uh, he started as a freshman against us, Scott, and I, I, I loved his poise. I loved his demeanor, a uh, high percentage uh, quarterback. And now with a couple of more years of experience, he just manages the offense extremely well. He's very patient. He's not going to put himself in a bad position. And then he's got great skill, uh, you know, probably uh, the deepest running back core. He's got emerging wide receivers, a big big offensive line and then what Kirby's known for is an aggressive attacking defense with speed so eh, not much uh, <laughs> just, other than that just, yeah yeah nothing really Underst uh, just some really good players <laughs> understood you you hit on a key word and I feel like through the years when I've talked to you in advance of games like these particularly on the road poise is what you always are preaching how much calm does it give you, Coach, to know that a guy like Ian Book, that this isn't the biggest game he's played in in his life and that he's seen moments like these and, and, and ought to have that poise? Does that calm the nerves a bit? Yeah, it does help, no doubt. And our guys have played in a lot of these games, and certainly that's going to help. But we've got some young players that are going to be in it for the first time, and they can't have wide eyes about it. And so it's important that they come together as well and in a very important game on the road. But, you know, I, I just think that they come to Notre Dame wanting this opportunity. And it's a privilege. It's, it's really, that's why they do this. They, they, they want an opportunity to play in these big games. And uh, again, I think that, that with the veteran experience, with some young players, it's a nice blend that we have going down to Athens. When a team is an underdog in a game, you sometimes I hear people say, oh, they've got nothing to lose. I think that's complete BS. You have the exact same thing to lose. You have the game. And I think that's that given right. Georgia's schedule, you know, with the chance to play an SEC title game in theory, they might have an easier opportunity to erase a loss if they had one. So how do you frame and define the stakes for your team? Yeah, I think that's a good point. I mean, we, listen, we're more interested in, in our mission. Our mission is to play for championships, graduate our players. We focus much more on our process than any of the outcomes. And so we got to play Virginia next week. We've got Michigan on the road. We've got to play our rival USC, Stanford. We've got such a big schedule in front of us. If we just put everything on this game, we're probably not going to be ready for the week after. So again, prepare very well. Uh, go down, play with great poise, uh, but understand that, listen, you can't, you can't understand uh, how important it is to, to prepare the right way. And that's what we focus on, Scott, more than anything else. Just prepare the right way, play with great poise on Saturday, and then it'll all kind of work itself out. All right, last, last question, and I've asked coaches this uh, through the years, and I'm always interested in just how you, how you define it. It's Saturday night, it's Athens, you're getting ready to come out of the tunnel. It's a massive game, the whole country's watching. Those moments right before you walk out onto the field, run out onto the field with your team, how would you describe them? It's what keeps you putting in eight hours a week. Uh, right? There's no adrenaline rush that, that can fix it. That's why Mac Brown comes back. Yeah. You know, you know, instead of playing golf, I mean, there's <laughs> not there's nothing better than that in terms of uh, being able to coach in that kind of environment. So it's a special environment uh, that that keeps us going at, you know, putting 80 hours a week in and and being around these young guys being in that atmosphere. It's special. Well, I understand that the hours are dwindling, so I'll uh, I'll say thanks and let you get back to the prep travel safe down there. Look forward to watching Saturday night. Thanks, Scott. Thanks for having me on. Always a pleasure. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. 
And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.